Hello, welcome to Mastering 5th Grade Math. Here we're going to continue working with division of fractions. Here we will take mixed numbers and then divide them by fractions. So we're stepping our way through the skills, and if you notice, uh, what we're doing here with division is very similar in the way we're doing it, the sequence, to what we did with multiplication. So let's take our first problem and see how easy it's going to be to take something like 3 and 1 half and divide by 2. We have a mixed number here, and we have we're dividing by a whole number, but I think by now you know that this is going to be a fraction too. So first, we're going to change the mixed numbers into improper. 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1 is 7, and we write it over 2. The division sign remains for now, and we want to write the 2 as 2 over 1. So you don't want to do too many things at once. You want to do one thing at a time. Now in the next step, we'll take the 7 halves, and we'll change this to a multiplication, and we will flip this over to 1 half. And now that we have it into this form, we can then multiply the tops. 7 times 1 gives us 7. 2 times 2 gives us 4. So we have 7 fourths. Now we can't really simplify this by dividing top and bottom, but we can change it to a mixed number. How many times will 4 go into 7? We'll go one time because 4 times 2 is 8, and that's too much. So if it goes one time, the difference between 7 and 4 is a remainder of 3, and we always write it over the denominator. So we get 1 and 3 fourths. And that's the answer when we divide uh, that mixed number by a whole number, which effectively is dividing by a fraction. So in the next problem, what if we have something like 2 and 2 thirds, and we're dividing by 1 half? So here we have a nice mixed number divided by a nice fraction. How would we handle something like that? Well, the mixed number needs to be converted. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 2 gives me 8, and I write it over 3 which is the denominator. The division, let's just for now keep it here and let's still be dividing by one half. We don't want to do too many things at one time to confuse ourselves. Now in the next step, we'll take the 8 thirds, we'll change this to multiplication, and we'll flip this fraction over. Now 8 times 2 on the top gives us 16, 3 times 1 gives us 3 on the denominator. And we try to look at that and see if we're done and we see that it's, a, it's an improper fraction that we can then convert. How many times will 3 go into 16? It will go 5 times because 5 times 3 is 15. There's a difference there, remainder of 1, between 15 and 16, and we always write it over the denominator. So we get 5 and 1 third. And that is the final answer there. Now what if we have the whole number 5 divided by a mixed number, which is 4 and 1 sixth? Well, the first thing we want to do is this 5, we want to write it as 5 over 1. The division sign, let's just keep it there for now. The mixed number we want to write as an improper fraction. So 6 times 4 is 24, plus 1 is 25, and then we have over 6, like this. So we've just converted this to an improper fraction. Now we can do the division, or I'm sorry, the, uh, we can do the division. The next step will be taking the 5 over 1. The division gets changed into multiplication, and this gets flipped over to be 6 over 25, right? Now, what do you think is going to happen on the top? 5 times 6 is 30, and 1 times 25 is 25. So that uh, looks pretty darn good, but um, then we realize these are both divisible by 5, so we can divide the top and the bottom by 5. And what we'll get when we do that, 30 divided by 5 on the top is 6, 25 divided by 5 is 5. Now this is still improper. It's simplified in terms of lowest terms, but it's still improper. So let's change it back. How many times will 5 go into 6? Only one time. 